Have you heard the news? There's an election tomorrow, the first Tuesday in November. Of course, one year ago, the major storyline was President Donald Trump versus challenger, now current President Joe Biden. This time around, though, your ballot likely includes names that you are less familiar with. This off election cycle is really focused on city and municipal races, and those are big decisions that oftentimes end up having a more direct impact on your local area. Now, one thing you may notice looking at your ballot tomorrow or if you've already filled one out and sent it in the mail, municipal candidates, they don't have an R for Republican or a D for Democrat indicator on the ballot. And we've seen your questions on this too. For example, why don't the candidates for Boise City Council just list themselves on the ballot as being a Republican or a Democrat or whatever? Well, in Idaho, that's just not how things work. And today I spoke with two election experts to set the stage for the nonpartisan election cycle we're now in. Election day is almost here. For some of the particular races, we've seen more activity than we typically see in this kind of, you know, quote unquote off uh, cycle election. Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain and his election team are already hard at work. As McGrain mentioned, this is an off year in the election cycle, meaning you will be seeing municipal races for things like city council on your ballot. In those races, like for Boise City Council, for example, on the ballot, candidates are not listed as being a part of a political party, like a Republican or Democrat. Our partisan elections happen in the even years, so most people would think of the president, for example. Um, the there really isn't anything in terms of a nonpartisan election. It's just that there are other elections that have been determined to be partisan. Per state code, Idaho just doesn't designate municipal elections as partisan, meaning candidates do not need to go through things like a political primary vote ahead of a November general election. Boise State political science expert Dr. Stephanie Witt says that move can be traced back to the progressive reformers movement that ran from about the 1870s through the 1920s. I think the intent of, of having nonpartisan elections was to ensure the most efficient and professionalized local governments that we could have. Um, and, you know, perhaps it's a question in people's minds about whether we still need that uh, today. But the intent was to try to get politics out of running cities and just run them uh, the most efficient and um, best way possible. So does a nonpartisan election prevent a candidate from telling voters that they're part of a political party? Or does it prevent a political party from endorsing a candidate? No, but the party affiliation, again, will just not be indicated on the ballot. There's no restrictions. A candidate can present themselves in whatever light they feel is going to be best for their candidacy and their campaign. I mean, much like, you know, a candidate may say they're a Boise State fan, uh, declaring themselves a member of one of the political parties could be the strategy they also would employ. Dr. Witt says this is nothing new to area politics. Take the Boise mayor race in the early 2000s, for example. I noticed it the most when Dave Beter first ran for mayor of Boise that a lot of the same volunteers and efforts you saw through the Democratic Party in Boise were helping him to get elected. And he had previously held office in the state legislature as a Democrat. So there was really no ambiguity whatsoever about his party affiliation. Interestingly enough, Clerk McGrain says during the even year or partisan election cycle, they get almost the exact opposite question. We get the question of why are these positions partisan? You know, county coroner being a great example, one that we always hear about. And so um, it's really just the policies that the legislature has set for each of these respective elections. So again, it all comes down to how the legislature over the years has classified each level of elections for the state of Idaho. And there have been conversations in the past about changing the rules around for municipal races to make them more like the statewide partisan races we see or the countywide races. Now, there are cases to be made on both sides of the aisle as to why or why not you would want to have a partisan or nonpartisan election at a local level. Just depends on how you see it all.